Welcome to Digital Asset News. My name is Rob, and today I just want to do a quick update on our Avalanche stake pool. So as you know, over a week ago or so, uh, our Avalanche stake pool has stopped. We completed our year, and we will not be continuing on with Avalanche. So what I wanted to do was just show a very fast video of how to move your uh, Avalanche around, uh, whatever staking rewards that you have to put it into your other wallet. And you can stake with anybody else moving forward. It just won't be with DNews. So first things first, uh, if we take a look at uh, the website, Dan Teaches Crypto, very simply, all we're going to do is just click on uh, staking, AVAX staking, and there'll be a video that I'll put in there. But uh, if you go to that now, just know it'll say there very clearly, attention, the DNews Avalanche stake pool is complete. We are shutting down our AVAX stake pool after a year. Uh, so we are not going to continue. So how do we do this? Well, quite simply, we go to the wallet.avax.network. That's where everybody's avalanche uh, should be if they were staking. If you don't know uh, the website, if you don't remember it, don't worry. There's a link in the description. You can access that quite simply. So we're going to access our wallet right now. There's many options. You have your private key, mnemonic key phrase. Hopefully you wrote that down. Uh, a key store file, ledger, or XPUB. Now, personally, you should always use your ledger. Uh, for this example, I made things very quickly so you could see it. I'm going to use uh, the key store file real quick. And this is a file that you download once you're in your wallet. I already have it here. I'm gonna put in my, my password, one, two, three, four, five, just kidding. I click on access wallet and voila, here we are. So I got a whopping 33 AVAX. And if you notice one thing uh, quite clearly over here in the upper left-hand corner, it says uh, available X. Uh, I have 3.944 AVAX available on the X chain, available on the P chain is 29.62. What's the difference? Great question. So uh, on the X chain, uh, this is your X chain address to receive funds. Your address will change after every deposit. You can keep using previous addresses, but just know that this wallet address will always change. The P chain is where you receive your staking rewards and cross chain transfers. So I was right along uh, I staked a minimal amount and uh, I got 29 Avalanche. So that's a pretty good uh, staking reward. So what I wanna do, if I wanna move this anywhere, I wanna take it from my, my P chain to my X chain. It's very simple over here where it says, uh, it says cross chain right on the side right here. We're gonna click on cross chain and it's gonna say, what do you wanna do here? And for our source chain where I wanna move things, I might even wanna just put it from uh, the P chain again to receive staking rewards, which I have a whopping 29. And I'm the destination address is the X chain. And we can put it right there and do whatever we wanna do. And uh, X chain, I'm gonna say max. And looks like, oh, that's pretty good. See, almost $600. And I'm gonna click on confirm. And I'm gonna click on transfer. And it's gonna take a little bit of time. And voila, that took like five seconds. And you can see right here, <clears throat> I went from the P chain to the X chain, 33.61, which would be the total. And of course, this is a chain to actually receive, receive funds. Now, if I wanna send these funds, I can send this to anywhere. I'm gonna click on send. And right here, it's got balance 33. I couldn't have done that before because uh, the funds were uh, in the P chain, now they're in the X chain. And I'm gonna click on max. And I'm gonna click on the to address to any place that I wanna send that. So what I did actually is I set up my uh, ledger to accept Avalanche. Now, just so you know, if you're gonna use your ledger wallet, um, the cold storage wallet, that you're going to have to download the Avalanche uh, program through the manager. And once you do that, then everything pretty much just works through here. So uh, you're still gonna have to use this third wallet, which is uh, uh, Avalanche wallet, the, the wallet.avax.network. But to actually access it, you're gonna need your little uh, nano ledger here. So I'm gonna click on nano ledger and it's gonna say provide public keys and that's okay. Public keys are fine, but uh, not the private keys. And you're gonna click on accept on your uh, ledger. And it's gonna ask you again, provide public key, the address, so on and so forth and accept. And great, I've got a whopping zero in here. So what I wanna do is I want to actually receive on my X chain. Remember, this is your X chain address to receive funds. Your address will change after every deposit, so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy right here. And I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna take this over to my original wallet, which has a whopping 33. And I'm gonna paste that right in there. And I'm gonna say memo, 
to Ledger Wallet, third party. And instead of sending max, I always try to do this. I always try to make a, uh, a test transaction because I never really trust myself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to come over here and just put in 10. So we'll just start with that and we'll click on confirm. And it's gonna ask me to send the transaction. I'm just gonna double check everything. XAVAX, come over here. XAVAX, MMX. Ah, MMX. And I'm gonna click on send transaction. And it's gonna say transaction sent. It's already, and again, only take like a second or two, 23.61. Now we're gonna go over to the other wallet and Voila, there it is, 10 AVAX. And I can keep going back and forth and doing all those things. So uh, that takes care of the video today. I just want to make sure everybody knew exactly how to do that. Now, if you still want to, uh, of course, stake uh, with your AVAX, just watch the video uh, that we put out uh, uh, when we wanted to actually stake it. And you can find that again over at uh, danteachescrypto.com. And of course, all we got to do is just click on, on the upper left-hand corner where it says staking. AVAX staking, and just follow along the video. You can stake with somebody else. It just won't be with D News. Watch that video. Oh, and one last thing I want to make sure everybody knows about, and that is uh, for your for your private keys to manage your keys. If you have a, a wallet at wallet.avax.network and you want to uh, actually download everything and just keep it safe or your mnemonic phrase or everything else, of course, you can find these things right here under the manage keys. And uh, there's a button right here, which will say export key and when you click on export key uh you can uh, you select the one key you can put your password in you can export the wallet and that'll download to your uh computer and then you can just use that to log in every time instead of having to put in your mnemonic phrase which is a real pain in the a i gotta tell you but uh when you're doing that that's just for a regular wallet but when you're using your ledger wallet over here you can see that under manage keys there is no option for that. So you just know that every time that you have to log out and log back in, it'll all be done with your Nano Ledger. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. So you log out here, log out, yes I will. And then it's gonna say access the wallet. And again, mnemonic private key, mnemonic key phrase, key store file. That's the one that we downloaded if you wanna use it like that. I use a ledger now. I'm gonna click on ledger and it's gonna to say to, hey, uh, make sure that this is right. Same thing, do the public, public key accept it and go here and then voila all our things are back so you uh, don't need a mnemonic phrase or a key store file everything is done through the ledger so that's it for today so if you like today's video uh give it a thumbs up also consider subscribing and uh that is it for this one so thanks so much for stopping by i do appreciate it and i'll see you on the next one adios